Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Happy first weigh-in of the new year, the first Friday of the new year. How incredibly exciting is that? I'm ready. I was gearing up for it in the minute January 1st hit. I was so ready. I have done a vision board, which you'll see in an upcoming video. I have goals. I have all sorts of things on my plate for the new year that I have little mini goals for. So I am ready. I'm ready to take on 2020. And I started the day after Christmas. So as I mentioned in my last video, I decided not to wait until January 1st to get back on track. I figured Christmas is over. If anything, I'll use my weeklies on New Year's Eve for the week and the rest of the time I can stay on track. Well, it, inevitably it ended up that I didn't do anything for New Year's Eve because as you know or may not know, my husband was admitted into the hospital last Friday and did not come home until yesterday, which was New Year's Day. So we, I clearly stayed home for New Year's Eve by myself, which was completely fine because... I'm a grandma and I don't like to stay up until midnight on purpose anyways, but it was just a little bit of a stressful five days. He had a blood clot in his uh, leg slash upper thigh. He has a lot of medical issues. It's a lot to go into right now, but in the end, he ended up being okay. He was in the hospital for five nights. They were able to break up the blood clot. He's on some new blood thinners. We're good. He's home. But with that being said, I wasn't sure how easy it would be for me to stay on track. And actually, you know what? I did pretty darn good. I actually went to Jazzercise three days this week, Monday, Tuesday, and New Year's Day. Worked my tail off. Took yesterday off as a break, and I'm still sore. My arms are so sore still. Uh, but we are going back to Jazzercise tonight. So with the negativity of my husband going into the hospital. I still managed to do really well this last week that I'm excited for the first weigh-in of 2020. I would love to lose two to three pounds. That'd be amazing, but we'll see what happens when I step on the scale. So I had a great week. I exercised. I am right on track with the goals that I set, which is so incredibly exciting. And I'm still just as motivated today as I was the day after Christmas. So I am really excited for this next year. So I'm going to run into my workshop weigh-in, stay for the topic, and I'll be back to share the results of my weigh-in and what we talked about this week. <laughs> I am out of my WW workshop, and as always, the topic was completely on point. It goes hand in hand with what I was mentioning before I went into the workshop, and that was my vision board that I created for 2020. I'm going to be showing that in my What I Eat in a Day. That'll be posted this next Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. But it was all about looking back on last year and using what we learned, our experiences, good and bad, in moving those into 2020. So I want to talk about the topic a little bit because I think it's really important. It talks about reflection and setting new goals for the new year. And as you know, not only did I create a vision board, but I also put out a video with my 2020 goals. I'm going to link that down in the description box below. If you haven't watched that video, definitely check it out. I talk all about my goals for the upcoming year. I really thought long and hard about them. So check that video out. I also posted a couple other 20 for 2020 videos. One about 20 foods that I love on WW. Check that out. And 20 tips to be successful on WW. If you're new or need a good refresh, those are great videos to watch as well. So let's jump right into this week's topic. So number one is reflect on your journey in 2019. What things did you do that took a little bit longer to work out? What things did you set goals for and do that were quick and easy for you over 2019? And also with that, think about what successes you had in 2019. Maybe you didn't lose as much weight as you originally set out to lose in 2019, but maybe you adapted a new exercise program, or maybe you had some other non-scale victories. Maybe you're in better shape than you were. Maybe you are eating better than you were or tracking more days than you were the year before. So look back on what you did well in 2019, and also look back on the things that you didn't do so well in 2019, and how could you have made those things better? It's all about reflection and looking back on last year, but really take some time and reflect on your successes from the previous year, and what things did you do that you want to do again in 2020? So I know for me that my weight loss wasn't what I wanted in 2019, but I started a new exercise program, which has been life-changing for me. I started Jazzercise. I love it. 
I'm going tonight. I look forward to it. I've noticed a big increase in my energy throughout the day. Since I started Jazzercise, my body is toning up. I'm noticing my clothes are fitting differently, even though I'm not seeing pounds fall off as quickly on the scale. I'm noticing those other things all from starting that activity in 2019. And because that's been a big success for me, I'm going to carry that over, of course, into 2020 as well. So reflect, look back on what you did well in 2019. Number two is reflect on your challenges in 2019. What did you struggle with? And really deep dive into those struggles. What caused you to struggle? What did you do that you want to do differently in those struggles in 2020? So again, let's talk about my weight loss. I didn't lose as much weight in 2019, of course, that I originally set out to lose at the beginning of the year. And why didn't I lose? Well, let me tell you, I didn't track at all or honestly, and I didn't stay on plan as much as I should have. So that's why I didn't lose as much weight in 2019 as I originally wanted to lose in 2019. So by looking back and reflecting on that big challenge, what can I do differently this year? Well, I can track and I can track honestly, and I can also stay on plan. And I'll tell you, I've done just that since after Christmas. I've been really good about my tracking. I've been honestly tracking, and I've been on plan way more so far than I did most of 2019. So for me, that's a huge win. That's something that I reflected on and have changed for the upcoming year. So spend some time and look at your challenges for 2019. It's not a bad thing, you guys, to have challenges. It's not a bad thing that you didn't meet every single goal or thing that you set out for for 2019. It's not bad. Just take the things that you struggled with and turn them into successes in 2020. So number three is know where you're going. So this ties right into my vision board. So in order for me to know where I'm going in 2020, I created a vision board. It's a constant reminder. It is sitting on my desk or on the wall in front of my desk in my office where I spend a lot of time for real estate, a lot of time filming and editing and uploading videos. So it is constantly in my face. I also have a picture of it on my phone and I'm contemplating making that my wallpaper because it's, again, we're on our phones constantly. That's a great place to put that visual reminder of what your goals are. So do some sort of visual reminder for yourself. Something that reminds you every time you go in a room or go in your car or go in your office or go on your phone. It could be something as simple as a sticky note in your car that says track. That's all you have to say. It doesn't give away a lot of information for people that are in your car. They're like, what does that mean? And it doesn't give away your weight that you're trying to lose weight if that's something you're not comfortable sharing, but it's a visual reminder for yourself. So create some sort of visual reminder. And with that, it's really important to not only set long-term goals, but to set short-term and longer term goals. So how about setting a goal for something you want to achieve by the end of February? It's a little over two months, so it's definitely a shorter term goal than the entire year of 2020, but it's something that you can really focus on and strive for. So I thought about a goal for myself to achieve by the end of 2020. I am actually flying to San Diego in March, around the end of March, to see my best friend and to do a fun run. It's called the hot chocolate run where you get chocolate at the end. And I, Jazzer size is going to help me meet that goal of completing that fun run and doing it without wanting to die. But I also have a weight loss goal because I, there is an amount of weight that I'd like to see fall off by the time I make that trip to San Diego. But I'm going to focus on the shorter term and that's by the end of February. So my goal is to lose 10 pounds by the end of February. So essentially that's a little over a pound per week. And I think that that's completely doable with staying on track, tracking and exercising. So think about a shorter term goal. What is your goal that you want to achieve? And it doesn't have to be weight related. It could be exercise related. It could be food related, whatever you want to set for yourself. Leave it down in the comments. What's your short term goal that you want to achieve by the end of February. And by leaving it in the comments, writing it down, making that as a visual reminder, you've put it out for the world to see is going to help you stick a little bit more with that goal. So 10 pounds for this girl by the end of February. So in order for us to achieve these short-term goals, these longer or these really long-term goals, we have to set weekly goals. It's best if we do things by the week rather than by the year. I know that setting 
goals for the whole year is a fabulous idea. I did it myself. But in order for us to get to that long-term goal, we have to have short-term goals. Definitely this goal by the end of February is fabulous. But how about setting some weekly goals? So for myself, I have a few weekly goals. One is I want to work out at least three times a week. Now, the more, the better. If I can make it four or five times a week, great. This week, it'll be at least four times. And I may even go tomorrow, which would put me at five for this week. So set a goal that is doable for you on a weekly basis. Also for me, it is track honestly every day. I'd I don't hit track on the day that I use my weeklies, which is generally Saturday, but six days a week I need to track. And I need to track honestly, good, bad, ugly, whatever goes into my mouth goes into my tracker six days a week. So those are my weekly goals. I have an activity goal and I have a food, weight watchers, weight loss goal as well. So it's really important to spend some time on shorter term goals that eventually will help you reach your long term goals. So what's your weekly goal. Leave your February goal and your weekly goal and even your long-term goals down in the comments. I love to hear what your guys' goals are. It's motivation for me and I really think it's motivation for others as well. So leave those goals down below. So that is what we talked about this week. And I think setting goals, both short-term and long-term are so important on any journey. Even just your life journey. How about setting career goals? I mean, there's so many different goals that you can set. And I went ahead and incorporated both my personal goals, career goals, goals and weight loss goals all into my vision board. I can't wait to share that with you guys. So stay tuned on Wednesday for my vision board. So let's jump into my weight loss. So how did my week go? As I mentioned, I got right back on track after Christmas. I went to jazzercise. I worked my high knee off. I had overall a pretty darn good week. I'm happy with my week. Because we ended up not going out on New Year's, I was able to stay on track then. I did use most of my weeklies though over the weekend. So there was some stress this week with my husband being in the hospital and just a little bit of stress eating over the weekend, but I tracked everything and I stayed within my weeklies. I didn't go over my weeklies. So I hopped on the scale and guess what guys? Guess what? I lost three pounds. Not one, not two, but three. I am so incredibly excited. I have lost everything that I gained with the exception of 0.4, I believe it was, that I gained last week, 3.4. So I've almost lost everything I gained over the holidays. So it's proof in the pudding that if you get back on track, you're going to lose what you gained. I had a great holiday. I enjoyed everything that I ate, but I'm happy that when I stepped on the scale today, I've lost almost all of that. And it'll be off in the next few days, the rest of it. And definitely by the time I weigh in next week. So three pounds, that's a great way to start the new year. It puts me well on my goal to 10 pounds lost by the end of February. And it puts me well on my goal to 20 pounds lost by the time I go to San Diego. So hallelujah, yay, amen, rah, rah, shish, boom, bah three pounds so down. So it's time, my friends, set those goals for the new year. Please leave your comments down below. I want to hear all about your goals. I also want to hear how your week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? Are you off to a good start, an okay start, a bad start? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below. I read every single comment that you guys leave. I may not always respond back, but I read them. I heart them. And please know that they mean a lot to me whenever you leave a comment for me. I definitely take those to heart and read all of them. And if you're new to WW or you're new to my channel, welcome. You guys, I'm so happy that you're here. I would be absolutely honored if you would take a moment and hit the subscribe button, join my YouTube friends and family, and also that bell. That way you're just notified whenever I upload a video. If you're new, I do weigh-in videos every single Friday. And one of my goals for 2020 was 52 weigh-ins with 52 weigh-in videos. So you definitely don't want to miss out for the upcoming year. And again, thumbs up this video if you love weigh-ins and if you're off to a great start this year and definitely leave those comments down below. And if you haven't already, head on over, join my Facebook group. We have 12,000 amazing supportive people in that group that are here to help you. You can vent there. You can leave your ideas, ask for ideas, leave your recipes, ask for recipes. It's just truly a positive, wonderful place to be. There is a link down in the description box that you can click on that will immediately take you to my Facebook group and definitely join us there. We'd love to have you be part of that community as well. Also down in my description box are the video that I mentioned about my goals and also all of my discount codes, links, and things that I can save you money on that are my WW favorites that will become your WW favorites. So definitely check out the description box below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy first weigh-in of 2020 and happy new year. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye! Run
funny how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams uh -huh. 